Bernard Parish Hospital failed to collect more than $3 million it was owed during its first fiscal year because of a billing and collections computer system that simply did not work. WDSU reporter Casey Fran tells us how hospital management says they have fixed that faulty system and what a council member says this computer glitch might have cost the hospital. We have two systems, a billing system and a patient system, and those two systems didn't communicate with each other. The dysfunctional software caused major delays in getting bills out to third-party payers for patient services or procedures performed at the new St. Bernard Parish Hospital during its first fiscal year. By the end of 2013, the hospital was owed nearly $10.8 million, but it only received about $5.2 million of that nine months later. The computer system didn't affect our ability to generate revenue. It just had an impact on how quickly we could collect the money from the revenues we generated. Hospital CEO Wayne Landry says although the hospital changed its third party billing vendor in June of 2013, bills still have to be generated manually. The audit says the record system does not interface with various hospital departments. But even given all those uh, uh, roadblocks and hills, this hospital remarkably has made over $230,000 in its first year of operation. St. Bernard Parish Council member Ray Lauga says the council was not fully aware of the failing billing system until the Hospital Service District Board asked the council to approve $9 million in property tax, which would have partially gone toward purchasing a new billing system. That measure was voted down. Lauga said in a statement the Hospital Service District is a separate agency from parish government. The HSD has mismanaged taxpayers monies and will have to work through its mistakes. The loss of these revenues has surely affected the hospital's ability to grow, attract additional physicians, and provide specialty health care services. If management was an issue, then we would have been like every other hospital that opened up in America and not made money. So, you know, I think the strong management it was what was able to overcome those obstacles, not only keep the hospital open, but to make it profitable in its first full year of operation. That's unheard of. All right, Casey Brand joins me now outside the hospital, and this hospital has a temporary computer system now, Casey. So when does management expect to finally have that system fully functioning? Well, Scott, they tell me they expect to have the new permanent system in place by June of next year. In the meantime, right now, they say that they have cleared up that backlog of uncollected uh, fees and bills that they were owed. And at this point, they say they are collecting bills in a timely manner. On your side, I'm Casey Foran. Back to you. All right.